one of the things that, that we found is that, you know, we all learned that water has uh, three phases, has a, uh, one phase is the solid phase, liquid phase, and the vapor phase. And what we found is that there is an intermediate phase, you might call it a fourth phase. And this fourth phase is in between the solid phase and the liquid phase. It's been known for some time that, that you, the, the water inside your cells is not merely like um, this glass of water here, but it's actually structured or ordered. And the reason it's structured is that, it, it, that the cell is filled with protein surfaces, and those protein surfaces um, order the water, and they can order the water out to a, a huge dimension. And so the cell is filled with this stuff. And so your cells, my cells, all of our cells is filled with this fourth phase of water. This is not just water. It's not neutral. It's actually charged. And it's charged, usually negatively charged. And the water that lies behind it is positively charged. So it's a bit like a battery. You have a negative charge inside this water and positive charge outside. Um, and equally interesting is you know, in order to, like, if you have to recharge a battery, you usually need energy to recharge the battery. And the energy for recharging or for charging comes from light. We found that if you add light, particularly of certain wavelengths, but all light does it, this zone, this area of uh, easy water, we call it, or structured water, builds from light. So it builds up and separates charge. And so it's, it's, it's a bit like photosynthesis. You know, in, in, in plants, what happens is that the light energy is absorbed. And what this does in the plant is it separates the charges uh, in water. It breaks up water into the negative and positive. And the plant uses this to do work. It, it's chemical energy, charge separation, that's used to produce uh, uh, bending, growth, metabolism, what have you. So there's a possibility that we may actually photosynthesize, maybe not all the steps of photosynthesis, but, but at least the first step of photosynthesis, which is in fact 100% efficient. So we might actually, we might actually use this, this uh, kind of energy that comes from outside to build this water inside our cells, in a sense, nourish us.